Hey guys, it's Vivian. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am at the American Girl store to take a look at the re-released historical dolls in honor of American Girl's 35th birthday. So let's get right into it. So starting off, when you walk into my store, there's like this round table area that has all of the six re-released historical dolls on it. So first we have Felicity. And each doll does come with accessories too. All of the dolls are $150, by the way, because the accessories are included with them. And also she does have her original flecked green eyes, which are very pretty. And I'm really happy that they decided to bring back the flecked green eyes because they haven't used these on a doll in a little while. And I did hear that the dolls actually do have neck strings to closer replicate the original dolls. She is wearing her older gown with the flowers on it. It's very pretty. And she has her little purse too. And then she's also wearing shoes and socks. There's a little sign that says Felicity Merriman 1774. And the dolls do come with their original Pleasant Company books or they're made to look like the original Pleasant Company book. I think they are only selling the first of each book, not the others. By the way, Felicity does have her ponytail with a ribbon, which is super pretty. So now onto Josefina. She has her classic meat braid in with a ribbon on it. She is wearing her earrings and she also comes with this gold necklace, her bag, and then her skirt. And then she also has her shoes here. And her sign says Josefina Montoya, 1824. And then we have her Meet Josefina book down here. They also have this sign up here above them that has a picture of all six of them and says American Girl Making Her Story. And there's a little thing that says 35th Special Collection. And we have Kirsten and she has her neat hairstyle in with the looped braids. And I feel like she looks a little different than my Kirsten. And she has her blue ribbons in her braids. These dolls, since they come with the accessories, it's super good for people who might have lost little pieces in the accessories or just don't have them because now there's a chance to get them. And with the dolls too, if you were never able to get the original historical dolls, now you can, so that's really cool. I love the attention to detail in all of the accessories. I think they did a really good job replicating them and the dolls. And then she has her brown boots and socks. Her sign says Kirsten Larson, 1854. And here is her book, Meet Kirsten. Next we have Samantha Parkington, and she is so cute. She has her bangs, and the eyes are flecked like Samantha's eyes originally were. She also has this adorable metal brooch attached to her checkered dress. She has a pink purse. She has black tights and black shoes, and her sign says Samantha Parkington, 1904. And she has her original Meet Samantha book. And this is her hat. It is red and it has all these ribbons hanging off the back, which are super pretty. And this is her hair. Her hair is actually hanging down. A lot of the dolls have it in styles, but Samantha's hair is hanging down and the curls are so cute. Next we have Molly McIntyre. Of course, Molly has her two braids in. She has little red ribbons in them at the ends. She's wearing a dark blue beret. Her glasses. She has gray eyes as you can see and then she has a little locket along with this sweater and her dark blue meat skirt along with her bag and she has a sign this is Molly McIntyre 1944 and here is her book Meet Molly. Next we have this Addie Walker doll and this is the last doll I have to show but then I will move on to the ones in cases and this Addie is so pretty. I can't get over how beautiful this Addie looked. I think they did a great job with all of these dolls, but I am really excited about Addie. And I think I actually like this re-released one better than the one I have now. And she also has non-removable earrings, just like Josefina. And then she has her pink meat dress with the buttons on it and this really pretty necklace and she is holding some of her accessories. And then she is wearing black tights and black boots. And her sign says Addie Walker, 1864. Her book is Meet Addie. It's her first book, like all of the other dolls have. In my store, they do have a second display downstairs. And the picture in the back is one of the pictures they have up on the website. And they have all six of the dolls lined up. I'm sorry, the glare is so bad. 
They look so pretty. They all have their accessories. And there are even like flowers on the ground, which look really nice. And they have a sign that lists all the dolls that are available in the case. And they also have a few dolls sitting down here. I'm just going to show the boxes. So this is one of the Molly dolls. And you can see her through here. She's not wearing her glasses in the box, but they're probably somewhere in there. But then when you go down, it says the American Girls Collection and says Molly. And they are made to look like the older Pleasant Company boxes. It's not an exact replica, but it does look a lot like it. And at the very bottom, it says 35th anniversary collection. So they now have all the dolls set up in their cases and they did such a good job on the cases. They look so pretty. So first is the Kirsten and it says Explorer like Kirsten 1854 on the back. And I love how all of the cases have like props in them. You will see more later, but it looks really nice. And there's even a description beside each doll, kind of about their outfit or story. It pretty much, just to sum this description up, it says she wears a pioneer era blue calico dress, she has a bonnet, a spoon bag, a wooden spoon, a heart-shaped necklace, and an embroidered hanky. And down here, here's the Kirsten in her box. This is what it looks like. Then we have Samantha and I love her case. The back says give like Samantha 1904 and you can see all these pretty green plants around her. Samantha's description summed up, talks about how she comes with a dress, a matching hair bow, a plush burgundy hat, a velvet purse, a lace trimmed hanky, a real metal brooch and a penny. And here's Samantha's box. And at the bottom, it actually has like a warning on it since the brooch has a sharp point. Moving on, we have Josefina. On the back, it says Heal Like Josefina, 1824. She also has props in her case, like these rocks and pretty flowers. Josefina wears a vibrant skirt, moccasins, and a woven shawl. And she has a necklace, an embroidered hanky, a pouch, and also a coin. And this is her box. All of the 35th anniversary dolls at the bottom of their box, it says the doll's name and then 35th anniversary collection. So then over here we have Felicity. Her background says Dare Like Felicity, 1774. Felicity also has props in the bottom of her case like moss and more rocks. It looks super nice. And her description talks about how she has a rose print gown, a white cap, a lace edged handkerchief, a red brocade purse, ribbon gaiters, and a coral beaded necklace. There are no Felicity boxes down here at the moment, so I can't really show any, so sorry about that. So here we have Addie, and her background says, Believe Like Addie, 1864. And she has some gravel and potted plants on the ground in her case. And her description says she has a pink dress, a straw bonnet, a cowrie shell necklace, and she uses a kerchief to carry her belongings, which include a half dime and a water gourd. And here's what Addie's box looks like. It says the American Girls Collection like all the others. And on the back of all the boxes, it has a description of what they come with. And the last case I have to show is Molly McIntyre's case. Her background says lead like Molly in 1944. And the ground has this sidewalk. It looks really nice with the grass and everything. And her description says that she has her signature glasses, a navy wool skirt, a matching sweater, and she also has a felt beret, a shiny purse, a heart necklace, an embroidered hanky, a glasses case, and a penny. And this is what the Molly box looks like. So I think this set actually released last week. It did not release today like the dolls did, but I figured I would show it anyway since it is super new. And it is this American Girl birthday party bundle. It is $310 and the bundle includes all of these sets, but you can also get these individually if you wanted. And I think this whole setup is actually super cute. I especially love the bistro set because it really looks just like the bistro in the AG stores. 
And they even had the little mini doll sitting at the table. Like you can have your own doll sitting at the table when you're at the bistro. So there are five sets included in this bundle. So the first one here is the American Girl Fun and Games Birthday Party Accessories. And there are actually some really cute pieces in here. I love the Polaroid camera, that's adorable. Next we have the American Girl Take the Cake Birthday Cart. And it is this cart that has three levels and there's cake and hats and a balloon and a ton of cute little birthday related things. And Apparently, if you press the candle on the cake, it plays a song. Now we have the Day at AG Cafe set, and this is the main piece that has the table, and it has like the cafe menus, plates, and this is also the set that has the mini doll that sits at the table. And I think they did a really good job at replicating the actual bistro that you can eat at at the AG stores. They also have this happy birthday present headband for girls and it has a little present on it. It's a headband. I don't see the birthday dress here that this doll is wearing. I don't think they have the birthday outfit here. It might have sold out or something. And I just noticed that they even have a super mini version of the cup and saucer. So overall, these 35th anniversary dolls are so cute. I think American Girl did so well on them. And I think it's really cool how they did this and especially how they like included the Pleasant Company style books and all of that. I really like them and I will be bringing a few home so stay tuned for an opening on them. So thanks for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye everyone!